or resume is your offline document where you should talk about what is your profile snapshot in that you can say hey you know this is who i am this is what i'm going to do for you and this is what the result i'm going to get to you right. a lot of people what they do i'm looking for a company where i can grow my skills and what oh, shit man <laughs> <laughs> just a copy paste of google nothing works okay so stop <laughs> i'm very hungry motivated person <laughs> chasing that purpose right comes in certain moments you have to make a choice and that particular moment is going to be the most challenging time for example i had a choice of either uh, continuing my college or drop out and focus on my freelancing my intuition said adi drop out mm-hmm. and focus on your freelancing mm-hmm. because i wanted to break the stigma uh, family related is that you need a degree to be successful that was a challenging time for me but when i followed that intuition my life started happening <sighs> all right then Yes, Adi. Thank you very much for being here. It's really exciting to have this conversation with you. <laughs> <laughs> even though, even though this is very unstructured, like you said, real. Gonna be myself. I'm gonna be imperfect, unperfect, whatever. And let's get this conversation started. Cool, Adi. And I'm so happy to meet you because I know how we met. Okay. Right. I was following you on Instagram, right. and I was showing my team. Hey, guys, see this guy is doing something interesting. Exactly. And uh, we met on Creativecon, and you told. we are yes. checking out the work and i told hey when i'm your fan it's then only you hear out okay it's crazy yeah i so. never thought that uh, my content would be a leverage to connect with high networking high net worth people so uh, that was really a big deal when you told me adi i saw your content and then i was able to leverage that <laughs> that's the thing see uh, what content does is like content makes you connect with like minded people Hmm. So you are doing something good, and there are someone who already doing good, and they wanted to do something good. Hmm. So you are actually <laughs> attracting these people to watch you. <laughs> That's about it, right? So uh, let's introduce ourselves. Yeah. Since our audience is gonna watch this, you get started. Please okay. So uh, I'm Kenneth Alfi, and I run a company called Brand Dogs. Right. So in that we help uh, senior managers and top level uh, managers to actually get place in a dream company that is one thing and we also what have been sorry <laughs> i keep smiling randomly <laughs> okay so actually adi was laughing for this long time and we are trying it again so i'm kenneth alfi i'm yeah. founder of grandox so we basically we help uh, job seekers and senior level managers to help them to get their job i mean uh, their dream job with high package and all those stuff right uh, so this is one thing we sh- uh, we solve it immediately we also we are also solving a bigger problem which is we are helping them to be- become the authority in their niche record so that's a basic idea of what we do and that's about it that's what it what is the process of starting out when you onboard a person onboard a client mm. what is the process so the process looks like see first of all someone comes to me saying hey can you know what I've been looking for a job and I've been uh, applying a lot of companies, but no one calls me or people calls me and they don't convert that done that doesn't get converted into an offer letter. So then I understand what is the problem. I get their profiles, I check out their profiles. Then I literally see that that nothing is there. Right. And with this profile, you will not be able to get it. So I figure out like what is the they I'll also I'll also ask like what kind of companies you want to target, what kind of roles that you want to target, what kind of salary you want. According to that. that expectation and what they give is completely not matched so we help them to match this thing so basically we work on the resumes we work on the linkedin we help them uh, build their brand on linkedin and then connect with the right people so like how you create content and connect with the right people that right. is what we do here so but these people they are so very strong in their technical sides but they have not taken an opportunity to create content or market themselves or brand themselves we take that opportunity to help them wow. to do that properly and coach them on that so that they go get the right opportunities in the right companies and once that is done the same process can be done uh, implemented and they can grow a network around them which will help them in the bigger picture right so right. this this is something which we basically do. So in a nutshell, you help them with creating content, targeting their company, uh, which they desire exactly. to join. Exactly. Exactly. And you also help them with growing their networks. Right. Resume also I believe. Right. Got right. Right. So actually, one crazy uh, case study was like a person from um, Pune. Hmm. Okay. He was actually looking out for a job. He wanted to get placed in companies like Google and all those hmm. kind of companies. He applied for jobs and he was getting some random calls from random companies. 
um in local markets hmm. then he came to me saying can i i got stuck and i i want your help can you try figuring out things and can you help me out so i just saw that uh, that he has some good potential he's a, he he communicated with me very well but his resume was not communicating what he is uh, thoughts are ideas and exactly then uh, we we came up with a plan we developed resume and things and then i gave him the coaching uh, within one and a half months he got a call from google wow <laughs> and uh, google took a long time to actually 5 uh, to 6 interviews basically 4 to 5 months he got placed in google and uh, he's working in google germany with 300% high he got placed there amazing someone getting random calls from random companies he got placed in google with 300% high when that is possible see the amount of opportunities people are actually missing out just by not communicating their things properly right through their content exactly. through their resume exactly exactly the way they position themselves when 10 other people are approaching right. the company right amazing and now let's talk about your journey how did you start this why, and how did you start and why this business okay uh, i wanted to do business ari right that's all <laughs> right i don't know what business i need to start i just know how to build the profiles i am all uh knowing or without knowing i love to i started creating videos i i used to study uh, i used to read a lot of books hmm. okay when knowledge goes inside what basically happens is you start sharing it with people exactly so that happened so i just thought of sharing it through videos because i was sharing it my, with my friends and no one uh, they felt like oh my god this guy is simply blabbering something right he wants to be an entrepreneur <laughs> one day they felt like okay then i felt okay i'm actually disturbing them so let me create videos and show it to the right people right okay so that's how it all started and then, no, when no. did you start creating content okay it's it should be year? around 2018 amazing okay amazing. so knowing or without knowing i started growing my personal brand people started looking at me mm-hmm. okay then in my business i i don't sit in one i was working in a company that time in that company i, I don't used to sit in one thing like as they right. discussed jumping i was used to write content marketing right. designing sales operations i did everything okay. so in this process of moving in everything i need to go meet other people outside and all those things that time when i went outside people wanted me to join with them hmm. in their company uh, they felt me very interesting because they saw my profile and all those stuff so they want uh, they want to leverage me in their business i felt good with my own company so i was not going forward with it but i just understood the pattern why people are asking me to find them because i also have the skill i also have the network with me and at the same time people also got fired like in 2018 types i think so it companies fired a lot of people like uh, more than 7000 people a very very senior person with having 50 years of age he got 20 plus years of experience he got fired and he was unable to pay his bills for the next Two three months, and he was unable to get interviews as well. To just, just touch that point, why do you think he got fired? Because of see, that's that's the thing. People, uh, if you are not getting an opportunity, right, it's because of two reasons. One, you don't have the skill, or you don't have the network. Okay, the people who are in that level, they have only worked in one specific niche, and they don't know anything out of that. And since they are pay, since they got paid high. the company is okay to take someone who, who can get paid for less and still do the uh, still get right. the job done so this person has got fired but the problem is what if, if he is a brand he is an authority in that company already he would have not gotten fired so that is something that people are missing and even even if he got fired even if the company is not ready to, ready to pay when he comes out he still have opportunities <coughs> to get placed when he have a, a, a network around him so i just thought okay there are a lot of people who have the skill why can't i help them to build this network and get connected with the right people right that is how it started uh, i just at this as an idea <clears throat> since i always start, wanted to start my business uh, somewhere something told intuition right? that intuition exactly. will tell you like you need to start this go start this like like that one month some feeling was telling me you need yeah. to do something which year was this uh, it was around 2019 okay okay and you still working uh, around, yeah I, i i used to work like around october time I, i left my job and i was i was taking a break for two months not to take immediate decisions to start something big okay so i know if i start something i it, it should be big so before starting that i need to have a calm mind and a clear mind to take that decision hmm. so i was not doing anything for at least two two months okay i was going out with friends i was doing everything which i enjoyed doing so that 
I was settled in this level. Then I took decision of, okay, let me do it. That's how it all started. It's, it's, it, it didn't pick up Im- immediately. It, a lot of ups and downs in the first year. You were doing it alone that time? I was doing it alone that time because, uh, okay, let me tell you why business, okay? I had a lot of ideas to be honest. Okay. <laughs> and uh, I thought I wanted to do MBA. I saw a lot of MBA graduates who studied, they come and do internships mm-hmm. and I was also doing internships with them. I know their mindset and I know my mindset is, I, I was, I, I used to somewhat, somewhat match them. Okay. So doing an MBA or starting a business is both the same. Where you start a business and learn MBA, where you learn MBA yeah, and come and do business. So I thought of, let me start a business, business. and learn MBA. <laughs> right. So it was a it was a funny experiment i would say but it actually worked for me because i i wanted to make this work mm. you are really so, hungry to make it work yeah yeah, yeah. so uh, actually i started this was brandox was my third business okay oh i started do business first thing is uh, dance monkey tutorials okay. i just thought of bringing in dancers creating videos because i'm basically uh, a dancer. dancer so i come from that background it didn't work properly mm. Second thing is uh, content articulator was my second business. It didn't work well because of uh, certain reasons. I don't know. Can you explain what uh, uh, what that is? Partners. Okay. Partners are very, very important. You need to choose the right partners. Hmm. How we can choose partners? You need to choose partners with with the right vision and value systems. The partner should have the same vision which you are moving forward. If he doesn't see the uh, vision, their actions will be different. Second thing is value system. Work is number one and balance is not in the game of business. And someone is expecting balance and uh, wow. l- very less work. You cannot be a partner. So it, doesn't, it didn't work. Then the third one was Brandox. And when I, Brandox was not doing well in the first year because of my mindset. I, I didn't see the opportunity around the COVID came that time when I started in 2019, 2020 COVID came and I felt, okay, every business is not doing well. My business will also not do well. But the actual thing is, that was my greatest market, which I need to exactly explain. at that particular situation. Actually, I didn't do well, to be honest. Okay. Because of my own mindset, mindset. I didn't see the opportunity. Even though the situation was very good. Yeah, market was really good, but it my was mindset. me. I didn't look at that. My mindset was not strong, and I'm not an entrepreneur. Basically, I, I'm I'm I, I'm training myself to become that. Right. That was the phase lot of testing so I've did I've done a lot of things like I started a community called get stupid with Ken oh where like within two months more than 250 to 300 people joined I used to coach them I used to give them regular tips I used to get on a call with them to understand like what they want without making money but the thing is I was making money to just handle my expenses right but that's not a business exactly you need to scale it to the next level so that's where I felt uh, like again one year crossed November, December time came, came, I felt, okay, I found 100 reasons to say why this business is not working. Did I find 100 solution to make it happen? Now take an opportunity to go find the 100, re- uh, 100 solutions, yes. find it. And even if you fail, you will fail proudly. Mm. Third time, I don't want to fail with that guilty feeling. So I don't want that feeling. So I want to test it and then fail happily. Right. So I started testing. I didn't, I don't, I don't know whether I found that under solution, but within, with finding two to three solution, it actually worked. <laughs> so 2021 was, uh, actually 2020 was officially something which I started, but 2021 was the real breakthrough happened. That's where I sat and properly worked on it. How long were you working on, the, on this business? Uh, more than one and a half years. More than one and a half years. And uh, how many people did you uh, team up with? Once okay. You that's where the thing is one and a half years i was working alone but i was not working alone i was having my team okay as well team in the sense i didn't hire them full time i find i found right people see i i know what's my strength and weakness see one thing what i want to tell people is uh, before starting a business right the first thing what you need to know is you need to become the most uh, self you need to have the self awareness only when you know yourself you will understand what is your strength, what is your weakness. You need to outsource your weakness. Many people skip this part. Yeah, you need to outsource your weakness. You need to play around your strengths. Whereas your business will grow. Your weakness will be other strength. So get them inside and train them. Give them the ideas like what needs to be done. Then you can have them with you. Then you can actually work together so that your customers are happy with you. Exactly. So end of the day, it's not about you making money. It's about your customer getting the result is 
the value that you are telling to people is also uh, happening for everyone coming inside and they should also have a very good experience to create that you should do whatever it takes to make it happen and coming back to the team mm. what are some of the bad experience you had or what are the lessons you uh, learned when hiring a team member okay i want to be so real here because mm. i am not a person who is good at good with people okay okay i am an introvert basically i i if at all if i be with people outside uh, my mindset i will get drained immediately okay so i i don't have that money to spend a lot with to hire hire people so i started hiring interns uh, i used to go to colleges and i used to get take guest lecture that was one one of an opportunity which the college gave me few interns to work how do you uh, do the guest lecture uh, guest lecture does the college approach you or you approach the college how does that work two ways okay one is the content i created people saw me they got connected with me second thing is the people i connected with i used to when i used to do internships for some reason i got some good people connected with me wow. and uh, from that a student called me can you can you come and do a guest lecture here i have an opportunity see people will not randomly call you for a guest lecture you should make them understand your value exactly and i was showing them that i'm valuable and i i also made them understand that second thing is uh, see offline activity alone will not be enough offline activity with online credibility matters right a lot of people do one, only one thing offline is, credibility as in the guest lectures events and all of that no i'll tell you okay for example why the person called me for a guest lecture is because i used to communicate a lot of things with her and uh, she used to understand and uh, she felt good about whatever i i was talking at the same time i was also building online credibility where i started producing content even if i am not there my content is working for me hmm even if i am not meeting these people they just know me as someone exactly and if they want to know me who i am they can check out my online uh, portfolio where i have a credibility that should be consistent regularly posting content will make people feel that this person is regular he is very serious and this kind of people is some someone who i want to have in front of my students right so that's how the world is evolving people want serious people people want people who are committed and that that is what got me to that place and uh, i got to that place i did my english lecture and from that the professor felt very good that i took a very good session as well then they gave me a uh, few interns that's how it started right interns as well like uh, they i found people with right mindset i i don't know whether they have the skill or not i just saw that whether you have the hunger to learn something number one second thing is uh, do you have the right uh, value systems value systems in the sense someone who's who's ready to work even with no experience even with no experience that i'm completely okay but you focus more on the value <clears throat> system and the mindset yes because that is where i come from i i don't i didn't have any goals but one thing which is helping me till now to go to that level where i wanted to go is my discipline not my knowledge not my skill that's that's what discipline. i believe discipline discipline is the basic uh, criteria to for you to get skilled if you don't have discipline but if you wanted to learn skill and if you're already skilled your skill is useless right if you don't have discipline your skill talent is useless, useless. nothing but you have skill. discipline without talent or skill you can get it so discipline is the first thing and your value systems if you just match these things and if you find someone who bring them inside train them make them be with you or let them go right now let's touch up on this mm. uh, in my situation currently i'm trying to hire people because i'm doing my client acquisition alone i'm doing my service delivery alone and there are few uh, uh, positions which i would really like to be outsourced so practically what are the steps i should go about hiring someone should i go for hiring someone an experienced person but ready to work or an experienced person who is uh, who is looking forward to you know work with me and but charge high okay uh, so i would say have build a team okay build a team of uh, you someone higher than you someone lower than you in terms of age mix 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 okay why do i say like that in the sense it will create a different kind of culture and the person who is elder than you should also have a growth mindset and a young mindset mm. okay so that they can actually connect with the people who are younger as well and younger people should have a older mindset mm. 
you are getting it right right these people should be thinking some at least uh, five times better than their age these people should be thinking at their age and, and they also want to learn they they should also be ready to learn from uh, yeah, younger yes. younger people so this culture is something that we need mm. i never know how to do it but i i, I saw i i learned from my own uh, mentors okay so i know a person called ratish krishnan and he, i learned a lot from him he takes people who i mean trust me i i don't know how i became like this because i i don't know anything okay i was a fresher it's crazy it's i was a fresher trust me i was a fresher i don't know i was with fresher with arrears with no goals with nothing i just know that i wanted to do something good with discipline this is the person i was somewhat some way some somehow i got molded into someone who i am right today now. right i feel that there are a lot of talents there are a lot of people which who can become like this when they find the right people so i am doing the same i don't find experienced people i bring in people i make them get that experience and i make them to get to my level where they they feel like i'm working with a experienced person because you know what my business like is like that i work with 50 25 years of experience 30 years of experience people i don't i my age is 27 <laughs> their experience is not even matching my my age exactly so if i can work with them and if i can train them why can't freshers can do that right so it's not about yes skills matter skills matters skill can be trained but how soon that person can get skilled is something which is very important that is why i'm telling you discipline is very important and the value systems if you ha- if you have these two things get them inside train them as soon as possible also have a timeline within 6 months if you are trained you can you are allowed to stay with me if not you are allowed to go and that is the value system that we have inside our business as well once you got to that limit once you are done you can continue or you can go outside anyway that 6 months lessons will help you mm-hmm. this is one way of me uh, hiring um, freshers the second way is like find people who have knowledge who have that experience and get them inside and give them the creativity and freedom to experiment and pay them in the right way so if you just work on these two things that's more than enough at the, at the same time i always want to work with young, young minds right i don't want to work with fixed mindset people telling that this is what this is what worked 5 years before and this is what will work no work today and tomorrow yeah because i am a very quick experimenter very, i yeah. only want speed in my business adapting yeah so i want that speed to be in this culture always because a company which is slowly experimenting will fade away very soon where another competitor who's experimenting with speed coming so, touching on the remuneration part today how would you go about paying an intern let's say you're starting a business <coughs> today you're starting brand docs today and you're taking an intern mm-hmm. how would you go about remunerating them i worked as an intern for one year for free okay okay Which so i expect the same thing <laughs> so uh, if someone comes to me only for money money will be the motivation if mm. someone comes to me for learning learning will be the motivation i i i welcome them for free well said and without even them asking i'll pay them very soon well this is the same mindset even i have but most of the people think that oh this guy is trying to get in work without paying no every time when i go outside i know a lot of people will judge me for this but i'm okay with that because what i come across is what i can tell exactly exactly right so i've been working one year for without money and if i if i did not go through that one year i'm not the person who i am right now okay so that is the base you need to choose learning you need to choose knowledge you need to choose people then your money if you are ready for that that kind of people is who i want okay uh, and and i i would say like i i will always go with them for free initially at least for one month if i saw their performance in one month itself without them knowing i will pay them <laughs> that's that's that but right. i want them to come for free that's the mindset that i want internally we want to pay people exactly but first we want to see if they putting in the work yeah yeah exactly and i i'll pay them so i'll start with 5k then i'll go for 10 then i'll improve so that's how it is and if you're working with an ex- if you're getting an experienced person in your team how would you go about remunerating them so again uh, i would start with 15 20 this is how i start according to their performance i will increase at the same time if i have a limit of paying this much only 
I will say that for a project, this is the base price and the, for a project, I will pay you extra. Mm. So that they are also motivated to get more projects and do more projects exactly. and much better way. Exactly. And they, the the performance will also be better. The the experience of clients will also be better. And they also make more money. as well. They also make more money and the learning will, will always improve. Because I know that uh, I'm, a star, I'm a person who's starting now and... Uh, um, I can give more learning than what you can actually get from an outside company. So that is something which I strongly believe and I make sure that it happens as well. So when I can give you that, I also expect you, this is what, this, this, that's how I, I, the I same I culture you yeah. expect the same mindset and come touching on that as a person who's trying to not just post out, put value in the society, but also put out value in the online community. I feel we have two ways of, uh, existence. One is the physical existence and one is the online existence. Most of the people who do not want to set up their online existence in the uh, most professional way. Mm-hmm. They would rather show a uh, party kind of uh, uh, vibe or uh, not actually work on their career knowing that today we have so many opportunities. Mm-hmm. What would you say to those people? Okay, I would say like they don't, they didn't see the uh, leverage that shows, social media can get them. See. If you can just create content and if you can just stay in that journey for at least one year, there is a way to get to that 100k to be honest. Hmm. Okay. And without, with or without knowing, you cracked it already. <laughs> Once you cracked it, you have five different ways to monetize it. Right. Okay. One is you can become a paid collaborator. Second thing is you can, um, uh, you can, you can sell your digital products. You can become a, a coach or you can create your own course. Right. Okay. You can uh, uh, become, you can build your business and you can, st- st- you can make, you can monetize in different, different ways. Okay. So if you have these many opportunities, why can't you do that? The thing is, see, uh, people who are only existing offline, they can only make one or two streams of income. Right. And people who are online, they can cre- create multiple streams of income just by this online presence alone. I'm not telling that. Uh, see, uh, you need money to make different different sources of income. And if you're already rich, I'm not asking you to do this. But if you're trying to become that rich, and I come from a lower middle class family, and I'm getting to that level, okay? For for us, for people like us, for people who are growing to that level, who want to start from scratch, online is the best is best uh, online portfolio or building your online brand presence is right. very very important. Where you can you can change your life altogether. No, this conversation is really uh, pushing me to build that online presence. Like it's telling me, Adi, you need to double down. Because tomorrow there will be so many opportunities I can grab. And like you said, without knowing, <laughs> I was able to, you know, build uh, my network. I'll tell you something. When you, fi- when you find your purpose, with less efforts, you will get more results. And you found it. <laughs> right. That is why... Things, the universe is working for you and it make making things happen for you. You found it. And till you find it, universe will give you the pressure to go find it because nothing will work for you before. <laughs> <laughs> that, that I can relate to that. So many yeah. things I've been experimenting and finally when this is working without me actually putting in so much effort but still being upfront and real. Uh, it's, it's, uh, it's unreal. Yeah. I thought of going like a conversation, you made it like a <laughs> interview. <bro. laughs> like I told you the last time. <laughs> yes, Ken. So, um, we've been talking about you. I actually want to dig your mind even more. And I wanted to dig your mind right now. Right. <laughs> <laughs> because you digged me and I wanted to be, I wanted this to be like a conversation. Right. And you made it an interview. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, let me... Let me start from where I saw you and how I saw you. Okay. Sure. So I I just saw someone uh, doing what I wanted to do. Basically, uh, I started from scratch and I scaled my business from zero to something here. I saw someone who was doing the same. I just felt like, okay, why did I did not think about this? Like you felt so relatable. You felt so inspiring as well. And uh, that is what got connected to me. So tell me like, what made you to start something like this? Right. And uh, what is the journey that you came to, came to this place? So what made me start this uh, 100 days challenge was because I was in a position where I was fed up of taking things easy and lightly. 
I was working on this platform called Fiverr for two years, and I've uh, made around nineteen thousand dollars within three years. Two to three years, but the the amount of uh, headache I was getting from the platform was too much. I had to rep- I had to reply my clients within one hour. Otherwise, my profile will start getting deranked. Second thing is my clients who are paying me was the charges were very less comparatively outside i was able i knew for a fact that i could charge even more then i started uh, researching about how to get clients outside fiverr i i thought it was very hard because i had a mindset block fiverr is growing fiverr a lot of people will come to fiverr so let me build a brand a, a strong online presence on fiverr so when somebody searches for website design i can rank on top and get orders but that orders pricing will be very less i got uh, cheated a few times and that's when i got fed up and i was able to see these co- uh, coaches there was one particular person called saheli chatterjee and she had put out her content a lot on youtube so i i i had an idea okay this person is talking about freelancing so she has been talking about it in the past 3 to 2 to 3 years and when she put out this course i kind of knew that okay she i can trust because i've seen the content and you know very well right credibility i did a lot of research with the course finally i enrolled and this particular course uh, literally gave the structure how i should create my portfolio how i should set up my website how can i outreach to people so when i got access to that course in a few weeks time i thought i need to double down if i do not have a deadline i am going to take it easy i then that that day when i decided i'm going to double down uh, i decided to go home tell my parents i'm not going to come for 100 days <laughs> i told them that day my uncle uncle's family also came so i was like let me tell them all <laughs> so my dad and my mom are looking at me how can he say such a personal thing to everyone okay but uh, they are, my uncle is very supportive so me being upfront and honest is something uh, i wanted to do it was a very it was something that my parents would not suggest mm-hmm. talking openly in front of relatives mm-hmm. but knowing the fact that my uncle was supportive i wanted to let him know as well mm-hmm. that night after after telling them i came back home i made a video 30 minutes before the video i had a talk with my roommate ayush i don't know if i have to do this and then he told me just think about the impact you're going to make the mo- and think about the goals you want to achieve that's when i realized okay i need to do this after posting that video i started the day one day two and the first few days were really hard because i had no idea on how to uh, get clients it, it was never it, i didn't have the intention of growing a presence on instagram the intention was just document the journey and you know later down the line when people look at me and say adi you got lucky i wanted to show this as the proof who told that you got lucky right uh, i never th- i never thought of that like see <clears throat> you did the right thing in the right way without knowing that you did in the right way eh? right and you got to that place see not everyone have the guts to actually do it i mean built it or fail in the uh, public and you that guts paid you and that do, i don't think it's like actually and, uh, unintentionally i've been planting seeds which is now paying off for me so people do not realize that they have to put on the effort today so one month down the line two months down the line they'll see they'll see results okay tell me about like how did you what is the process that you go through to reach out to the clients and how many reach outs you did how right. many got converted how many right. failures you went across right and what is the mindset that you had going through the process so when i started out with the outreach i uh, started off with facebook groups so i used to post content there and uh, people will look at the content see that oh this guy is providing value and then they'll say hey can you help me with this that was one approach which did not work out for me and the reason why it didn't work out for me because i didn't post continuously daily mm. that was my own mistake not being consistent okay facebook group if you post consistently you can make some results yes because facebook will uh, understand this person is showing up every day okay so when i'm posting on the group i'll okay. start ranking okay and i'll be shown to multiple profiles the group itself you will start ranking yes okay mm-hmm. yes the second way this was this was my primary method instagram so 
I used to DM my target niche, which was fitness, and I wanted to uh, build websites for them. Right. So I went to these fitness professionals. I used to DM them saying, "Hey, I used to first like their images, follow them, comment saying them, 'Are you taking personal training?'" Mm-hmm. So they would think that, "Oh, this guy wants to get coach," <laughs> and then I would mention in the comment, "I sent a DM." So now I go to the DM and again ask the same question, "Hey, are you taking personal?" Uh, coaching clients it would either be mostly an yes and then i would tell them oh that's great i have something to pitch you and i'll send them a video recording saying that uh see i now you will record a video and i record a video and tell them since you're taking personal clients i have something even better for you to uh, make the onboarding process easier which is through a website i did that that was one of the most best performing methods but i didn't uh, i wasn't consistent with it two three uh, people i used to send and it's a very time consuming process yes, i understand shooting videos then sending it to them then again finding out other people to uh, dm and outreach the third one was linkedin linkedin i need work for you a uh, linkedin mm-hmm. i wasn't consistent with that as well i started posting about website website design seo i thought i'll start getting inbound leads but i i should have been consistent i wasn't then meanwhile while doing all of this i was posting the journey in my instagram and i did some i did this good thing which was have my own bio own website attached in the bio so people who saw my content they saw my profile what i am doing and then they saw the portfolio and then they saw the website in the website i had everything listed my services my past clients my past work and at the bottom i had a contact me form and the contact me form was a game changer that's when i started getting the leads so in my email i started getting them details name phone number and what are the services they're looking for so now i just had to message them in whatsapp and uh, i was able to convert a few lovely lovely actually the thing is this is where i'm understanding the thing is it's it's all about attention right attention directed to the right place giving them a right call to action conversion happens oh my god lovely what is crazy is even though people know this is working they fail to take action they don't have their website in place they don't have the contact form in place i have suggested a lot of solutions to people and it's is this mind boggling to me why wouldn't you want to do it like a lot of people do this okay they say that i will make you grow in instagram mm. but their instagram looks their nothing. instagram <laughs> is nothing and and someone tells that they want to build their website and their website <laughs> looks nothing shit <laughs> right and what's crazy it's taken me 5 years of jumping and figuring out so i know the value in the action i take now i'm realizing when i say people the solution the reason why they are not implementing is because they don't know the seriousness the value they're going to get out, get out of that action so nowadays i just tell it to them because i know for a fact they're not going to implement it mm-hmm. but like you said it's a moral duty to help others and uh, once you say it you just talk to them to take action right and you know what yesterday i have a con- i mean i came to bangalore yesterday and i met him we had a lot of different conversations that was and- if we recorded it would be amazing <laughs> exactly <laughs> and that conversation made me understand that you are not just a website developer you are much more than that because of that your websites are looking great right Thank so you. i feel that people who think that okay this person is a website developer and he made money out of that that's not about it hmm. it is you started starting from the age of 15 you did a lot of things yes. you you i helped my dad's business you helped your dad's business you part time cafe picked a bike to the place yes, <laughs> yes. and all the learnings all the experience made you this person and this person makes a website that quality shows there exactly so it's not about see if someone if you are inspiring a lot of people if someone wants to start their under underdate challenge i want them to understand that it might not work for you because you are just starting the underdate challenge yes. but this guy went through 5 years There's before that experience before starting <laughs> before the underdate challenge So I'm not telling you don't start that under challenge but don't expect much. don't expect or even if you fail fail it's okay fail proudly fail proudly because you took an action and a lot of people don't even take that and that is how we start like I told you right I want I started the second innings saying that I wanted to try the under solutions and then happily fail like that you need to start that kind of uh, guts that kind of mindset that you need to have before starting something and the reason why i want to put out a challenge is because 
only during a challenge you bring the best version out of yourself and uh, i also have this comp challenge gets you discipline actually exactly without challenge you take it very easy and you know for a fact that you st- your standards are very high and when you are competing you want to make sure the standards are met and when you don't meet the standards you start telling yourself so it, it was very bad of you you start degrading yourself so you don't want to do that you want to actually get put in the work and meet your standards there were also a lot of people whom i had to meet in this journey i had to learn a lot from them even though i've had some bad experiences and this is one thing i would say to people take the good out of the bad people because they're going to teach you really harsh lessons which will be helpful down the line whereas good people don't teach us not much at all <laughs> they they just teach you uh, they make you feel happy loved but it's the bad experiences that teach you the harsh lessons right, right. which will be needed down the line right uh, i also want to tell you one more thing i'm being a very nice person a very kind uh happy go lucky guy but down the line i know if i continue being this person it's it's going to backfire me no businessman out there will be a very nice person it doesn't work out in business so i am also trying to be upfront straight not a nice person but be kind but doesn't mean that i have to be nice bend down for others and then let them take advantage so yeah that's one thing some of the things i have learned lovely how did you deal with being a nice person how did you change I, to be I, a- i was a nice person and uh, like i told you i had some relationships and all those stuff that molded me basically uh, i was a guy used to tell uh, okay for every- everything then i found that this is not going to work in terms of relationship or in terms of uh, life everything in terms of career aspect so now i am a person i i have nothing between yes and no it is yes or it is no hmm. nothing in between so i can only play in the extremes and i i feel that business people should be someone who can only play in the extremes in between i don't think the gray area doesn't uh, it's not there for me and that's how we need to either work. black and black exactly. and black exactly. or white black or white let's just touch more on relationships so with these romantic relationships a lot of young people are getting distracted and with the internet a lot of people are getting misguided how do you think we have to tackle this problem so i feel that finding especially with instagram okay the videos you see there okay. how do you think people should okay deal with it? people you find on instagram right <laughs> and people you find offline are not the same right okay and uh, instagram is basically boosting good things hmm. okay so people are tend to post their victories and stuff even i go through a lot of hard days and sad days and all those and i never posted it on instagram and i'm not a happy person i'm i'm not being successful every day likewise people i mean let me give an example i posted my dance video on instagram someone contacted me feeling that i'm a dancer and i'm a very jolly person to be honest my my life is boring and if you see me like a dancer i'm not that hmm. the thing which i'm showing up I, i can dance but i i my mind is not wired like a dancer i'm a businessman my days are packed my days are busy that's how it is so you need to find i would say like find people real, find real people and then connect with them on instagram hmm. there there are a lot of relationship which is happening on instagram as well but at the same time they might find the right people and then they find find them offline as well it, it might work but don't go very serious unless or until you find them offline and have a chat with them getting exactly. getting to know each other and getting the real getting to know the real side of uh, the other person that's what i would say when you said don't take it too serious yeah this was the advice i was given after my breakup okay so i took my first relationship <laughs> very serious and uh, you know people start thinking about having family in you know when they're going through a relationship in the young days it's a pretty crazy what love can do yeah <laughs> they start talking about no because that is, <laughs> that is what uh, movie shows to us exactly like exactly we being in the 16 17 no we felt like okay after college or during the college if we find someone it's going to the next level then marriage then babies <laughs> in between that we did see movies in movies exactly. show, us, show us and uh, when you decode the process of uh, living like kasper and wife <laughs> that's when that's when the uh, reality comes into play exactly exactly and uh, you know to those people who uh, you know think that relationships are everything once they start seeing the reality of life they, i i think there's, there's so much more 
so much more than just having a girlfriend or a partner or a, or a wife or husband mm-hmm. there's so many other people uh, whom whom are there to uh, help you grow Trust i'm, me, I'm I, understanding this now i see this in a different level all together okay let's take 5 years back or 10 years back social media is not this much okay so if you are married to a guy if you are married to a girl their only option is you exactly <laughs> exactly it's not that they are having a lot of options they are lo- they are having a lot of options so if at all if you are if you are a guy who, who says to a girl hey you know what you you may everything and uh, i'm going to be for you i'm going to live for you who wants that <laughs> right <laughs> right see they are also getting other options where other guys also say this at the same time they want i mean for a women they want someone who's successful in their career exactly who can take care take, of them take care of them they want to live their life like everything they want to be, the, live their best life even if you're a boy you need to live your best life even if you're a, if, even if you're getting a girl you need to take care of her with the best things that the exactly. world can get uh, give her okay and you should be focusing on your career a lot then your relationship where when you focus on that your relationship will get in place but if you focus on a relationship your career will never never get in place because you are responsible for your career but if i mean let me be honest if one relationship goes another can come <laughs> <laughs> that's not good advice <laughs> <laughs> but yeah see the thing is okay uh but but your career I, i get the point i get the point you get the point if there right? are career as a, if two things has to be sacrifice a career yeah. or the relationship yeah i would say i i would say yeah, like i would say my relationship because, because both of us are really hungry people we have you know certain things to do like exactly. we cannot make exactly. the relationship priority exactly it is a big thing deal for us but we have a life which we want to live a name we want to make because an unsuccessful man cannot make a woman happy exactly so choose your career first and second thing is your mom will leave you your dad will leave you your brother will leave you your friends will leave you your girlfriend will leave you your wife will leave you but your dreams will never leave you mm. so stay true to, true to that right because in in getting all these things in place you are leaving your dreams and when before dying you will feel that regret and that is the most painful feeling exactly. but exactly but when you when you achieved your dream even if other people are not there they will be there hundred percent they will be there but now you will feel satisfied because that's your purpose that's your purpose that's, that's why you are here in this world and get you get your purpose everything will fall into place and chasing that purpose right comes in certain moments you have to make a choice and that particular moment is going to be the most challenging time for example uh, i had a choice of either uh continuing my college or drop out and focus on my freelancing my intuition said adi drop out mm. and focus on your freelancing mm. because i wanted to break the stigma of uh family related that you need a degree to be successful so that was a challenging time for me but when i follow that intu- intuition my life started happening you know this is what i feel people need to understand like we people are people who took hard decision somewhere in life exactly and people take easy decision safer decision and then come to us saying i want to do something great how can i do that and i still don't want to leave my safer side it cannot happen safe and successful is not the match exactly. risk and successful is the only game that you need to play i i never saw a person who's who's playing the safer game and also becoming big. successful that that never happened people should know that it's when you when you really facing the hardest time is then you need to make the hardest choice yeah at my hardest time i had to make hard choices and that's what led me here people discount the hard choices and yet they want to be successful making hard decisions makes a life easy and i want to touch up on these really uh, comfortable people comfortable people who are having really uh, settled lives they don't have enough anything to lose so why will they be hungry i got a dm from this uh, girl yesterday she told that adi i am not disciplined i don't have the drive then i asked her are you studying or working she told she is studying so i built and i asked told her so i guess your parents are taking care of your expenses and your finances she told yes i told her stop asking money from your parents and get a part time job you will understand the seriousness of life to all those people who want to start somewhere is to start off by not accepting money from their parents and start working i think that's the head start they can give for themselves exactly 
i feel the the biggest motivation is to have no money hmm when you have no money so right that's yeah. so right when you don't have the money you'll you'll, you'll start valuing other things you exactly. start valuing the learnings every learning is like a diamond for you i mean people who have everything you give lot of learning to them it can be the golden advice that you can give to someone if you give it to them they take it very easy and if someone who have nothing and if you give the same thing to them it it, it they feel it's, it's a big it's deal it's like a diamond and they make it a diamond by making it happen putting it to action so i i used to be a person who who find people go and tell them hey you know what you need to do that then i stopped it because i know that my knowledge is not for everyone my knowledge is for someone who, who only can exactly. yeah, exactly that's so, what matters so now let's give some actionable tips to people so now coming into your uh, field you help people build a brand on their social media which can get them jobs please give them some actionable tips coming to the actionable tips okay let's say if you are looking for a job not you are not look for a let's, job let's let's give the uh, uh, the person okay he just finished college okay uh he doesn't have any experience mm. but he's got a, a certificate from a reputed college how should he go about this that's great okay first thing is don't think like you are going to get a job hmm. um don't go and prepare a resume don't go and create a linkedin first thing go find the companies hmm okay which you want to work with because let's consider yourself as a business okay you you are the person you are going to look out for a job um uh, you you are a business hmm. and the 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 employer is going to offer you a job right is your client okay you will never know what a client want and what lot of people do they create everything and now they go look out for a job nothing works right so first start with the client so basically first start with the employer find the right employer right employer so find some target companies hmm. let's say uh, 10 to 15 companies hmm. who are really doing well even if you can you ne- you know that you cannot reach to the, reach to that level still have a goal of reaching out to them number one find the target company second thing find understand what is that they are expecting in terms of what kind of culture they have what kind of job description that they have for you in that job description they will be expecting certain skills from you uh, what kind of uh, qualification and abilities that they are expecting from you you understand this and also go and do a research of this specific job role what are all the skills or what are all the activities that i will be doing you can actually go on youtube it and you can find it all right now equip yourself for that your college is not going to get you that place Amazing. you are going to get you to get you to that place so take some one month or two months time instead of sitting and complaining that i'm not getting interview start working on <laughs> building yourself at least take one month or two months time it's okay it's completely fine it's super cool okay mm. go and spend the time on that now i have done something you will feel confident that i spent that time on that and the understanding skills that exactly and now only you need to go for the documentation documentation comes in a different way documentation comes in two ways one is your 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 uh, offline document which is called your resume and your online portfolio is all, also which is mat- mat- matters a lot so resume is your offline document where you should talk about what is your profile snapshot in that you can say hey you know this is who i am this is what i'm going to do for you and this is what the result i'm going to get to you right. a lot of people what they do i'm looking for a company where i can grow my skills and what oh, shit man <laughs> <laughs> just a copy paste of google that thing works okay so stop <laughs> i'm a very hungry motivated person <laughs> okay uh, so yeah tell them that who you are what you do what is the result that, that you can give them and then if you are a fresher you, you might not have skills so talk about what you can offer in that thing you can tell this is so i can offer you this is something that i can do for you when you communicating that it's that person will know this person really have some brains to understand me <laughs> to Needs. understand my problem so i think that he will be <laughs> a good choice then as someone who's just writing a motivate right so then go and talk about your internship experience and internship experience also <laughs> just go don't go write everything just write something which is relatable to that company then you're volunteering and all those things this itself will make a lot of sense and if at all if you're going to make this as a you're going to put this on youtube yeah yeah i will put it on then YouTube. i'll also give you a template which people can use right i can give you that so sure. you can just make let them download it in the description yeah i they can download it and now resume is done now the linkedin linkedin is not a uh, this is the offline portfolio online, online portfolio online portfolio linkedin should be your personal branding uh, profile okay this there is a lot of people copy paste their resume into this place that should not it should not be like that okay so your linkedin should be communicating your personality right okay your personality your ambitions your vision 
something like that can be communicated your partner should be talking about who you are what problem you solve you need to have a very good profile picture which is welcoming which is smiling with a solid background stuff like that the headline should say what is the unique selling point of yours don't make it funny hmm. make it interesting right what is a unique selling point and adding few more keywords will make your profile more visible then in your about section talk about who you are what kind of leader you are what kind of values you have what kind of vision you have towards the future this will make people connect with you for some reason or they will simply put all the skills and they feel like oh my god i put all my skills now everyone will contact me no one will you are doing the same another person is doing the same you are not giving that personal impact give that personal you have to separate yourself exactly and then go uh, in your experience section add the right keywords and content with right writing description there and add the right skills this is more than enough to just build your portfolio mm. now also start putting out some content that will help you reach out to the right people and the right people will know you for something which you do now they will trust you before even getting on a call with you That's getting true. on a call and then building a trust is hard <coughs> building the trust and getting on a call trust. is easy it's actually closed and as a fresher if you do this activity trust me you will get the best opportunity only well said you well can said. never get a average opportunity when you said that building the trust before the call is so true nowadays with having an online portfolio i was able to connect with someone who an instagrammer who is doing uh, logo design and branding i just had a look at her content for just one minute and immediately i thought i'm I, i am going to collaborate with her and have her on my team so it is so powerful the online portfolio is so powerful is what i want to say because people don't want to hear what you what you do they want, people to, see. want to see what you do so show them and have the have the guts to show them and then convert and If you don't do this and sit and complain, who's going to help you? Mm. And this is the current uh, process people have to take, especially exactly. that. And today's market needs that to stand out. So now coming to you, like, what do you suggest for someone? Okay, I I'll ask two questions. Okay, sure. One is, uh, give me a journey where someone can become a better and a good developer like you. And second thing is, how do they find clients? Practical right. steps. Okay, so I want to clarify. Uh, about developing and this website designing developer is someone who does the coding a designer is just someone who takes care of the looks the images uh, things like that i am a professional in the designing aspect developing nowadays there are technologies like shopify where you can build a website without knowing not without knowing how to code right uh, that's the uh, advantage which i have I know how to build websites using Shopify and I've been building websites in the past 5 years using Shopify. If a beginner wants to start off with knowing how to develop and design websites, I would first suggest first you understand how to design websites because that's the easy part. Once you understand designing and if you want to go further, then you understand how to develop by researching how to do uh, coding j- JavaScript or something called as React. Honestly, I don't know much about development because I focus more on design. Now, second way of getting clients is by having the online portfolio and the method which i am currently following is through storytelling mm. after i dropped out from my college i was able to get a scholarship in nas academy it, oh you did that right? yes yes okay okay they offer to take only 50 people in india and the only way you can get in is by telling yourself telling in one minute why they should choose you i told them in one minute i gave a nice story and i was shortlisted and then i was selected so in a matter of one month i was able to understand how to edit videos how to tell stories and how to grow so i had to do a lot of learning and then start making content so i would suggest people first understand how to shoot videos what are the angles understand the subject don't just go and post content understand the skill set become that skill set like we discussed before a lot of social media managers right they'll say i'll grow your instagram when their own instagram is not uh, does the, they don't have any followers today what i'm doing i'm understanding the skill set website design what does it consist of a to z and then i go i, I feel like people think website design is a web, website design it's it's actually building a business building a business online through a, a, a medium like people discount it people discount <laughs> the importance of having a web yeah. building having a website in place and i am in a position where a lot of things come into play for example the graphic design the copywriting the marketing aspect so i play a very important position we'll say we're playing football i play the forward the striker mm. so I, i i my job cannot be uh, discounted because i take care of a very important role so to all those people who 
want to get started with building websites understand the subject connect with people and tell stories don't just because a lot of people out there are already doing tutorials i would say like you need to learn business hmm if you learn business then you know how to design a website properly right that's so right so understand the skill set and put out a content through storytelling that's what right. has worked for me right. and it's taken a lot of time for me to be in this position and i have not discounted the hard work just imagine ken i have <laughs> literally spent time learning video editing somebody else who's doing website design they could just hire a website uh, video editor mm-hmm. i know each position what it takes okay i want to tell this to people like when you're doing all these things you're not that much you are not doing that much well but you are doing well but that process is actually helping you to do what you are exactly. doing exactly right but that is also very very important that's not failure it's 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 a journey and the that journey matters a lot exactly right i did not discount that uh, yeah. journey of delegating the work to someone else mm. and i am the person who wants to who wants to do the small things very well for example if i want to uh, shoot a video in the early stages i think it has to be the most perfect video it has its own pros and cons uh, but having that mindset of being excellent in whatever you do has helped me very much even when i was working in the cafe i wanted to make sure when i plate the dish i wanted to be plated very well so when the customers receive it they look mm-hmm. at it and go oh, wow yeah this this is a mindset adi this is a mindset yeah when you when you work on a plate setting up it right the same mindset will also come in a website page as well yes. the detailing matters that the way people look at it when you showed me your work i didn't look it as good thing i feel i felt a good thing in me right. after looking at that feel is what is very very important not just looking good that was such an important feedback as well for me i, I started realizing man with what feedback he is given i need to double down and make sure it's not just looking good but also feels good and to all those people i would both the first would definitely suggest what we are doing do it in the best possible manner right instead of trying to cut down the yeah. uh, cut down the work and no shortcuts no just shortcuts. go in the hard way hard way yeah. you are not going to get success very soon it's okay to fail it's so celebrate good. your failures and i think in this generation is easy to get successful yeah. if we start again actually from- yeah i mean i mean i'm just I, i've been in this business for like two and a half years three years and i'm here to sit and talk and communicate something like this okay but the thing is see this is not the best version of myself i you know where i wanted to be yes and yes comparing to that i'm not even like one person i'm 0.00 somewhere okay so the reason why we are talking here is to help someone who can get to the next level right and see guys we are, we are not successful we are just doing something better than what we are yesterday and just sharing that lessons and that is more than enough for you to become better from today to tomorrow that's about it and let's finally end up by talking about money i know a lot of people who want to be successful just for the fame the name and to get the girls i think that's a very wrong approach it's i mean it's good to have some metrics okay you want to get fame name girls but i think that's a wrong approach because once you get that you realize people don't care at all fame without money is a pain fame without money is a pain money without fame is a luxury actually money without fame is a luxury right being anonymous and still having Yesterday money Yesterday we were what we are looking at we were the anonymous guy <laughs> and media founder exactly. who's a billionaire exactly the selling thing. semiconductors exactly like there are a lot of billionaires who are unknown there are a lot of small billionaires who are famous. very well known so you need to choose your way and mm. uh, see you need you you cannot if you want to become a billionaire you cannot become a billionaire with your hard work you can become a billionaire with your money money makes more money right your skill makes you money to an extent your skill i mean your skill and mindset will make that money grow but the thing is your hard work will make you a sum of money that money will is going to take you to, to the next level like next level so leverage the network exactly right. leverage your money leverage the network get the network and money with having the skill set and get the access have. exactly exactly and money what? makes you money makes you more money not your hard work hmm. hard work gets you money but that money will take you to the next level so don't spend that money which you earned through your hard work and to those people who are very talented in their skill sets technical skill set but in their soft skills which is speaking communicating connecting i think they have to double down on it exactly. it's no more exactly. just about your skill set exactly. you have to be an all rounder exactly. with talking with presenting yourself exactly and that is what i'm solving right like people who are very so very skilled but they don't know how to document their things properly <laughs> and when i can build a business around that 
<laughs> that is what we are doing people skills exactly right so your people skills your the way you communicate your skill itself is very very important so you need to learn it mm. that will get you the right people people get you the right money exactly but that can will end we'll right here yes. it was an amazing talk yeah. so to those who's watching this uh, do let us know what you learned down in the comment section me and ken are going to drop some more value bombs in the near future yeah now we are going for lunch we're going to go for lunch <laughs> you're going to have chicken <laughs> rice and everything else see you guys it's been a nice journey bye take care bye